Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is a really exciting one for me. Um, I know I say that on most of my videos but it really is. This is the first time that I ever used acrylic on my nails. I mean way back when, I'm talking like 20 years ago, um, I did dabble a little bit with acrylic and that is where my um, allergy came from my allergy to monomer. Um, if you watch my videos a lot, you'll know that I've not used acrylic because of that, because I thought I was allergic to the acrylic, but it's not. It's actually Hema that I'm allergic to. So when I tried um, the Hema free monomer, I found out I was able to use it. So I'm so excited to be doing this finally. Um, and it went a lot better than I thought it would. I did practice. Um, I got myself a trial kit from a couple of brands. Um, and this one, CJP, is the one that I ended up going with. This is the one that I really enjoyed using and I thought was um, was good for me. And plus, um, most of their products are sort of vegan and cruelty-free. I know that all the gel polishes are. Um, and obviously, the, the acrylic brush isn't. Um, but I am going to be looking into getting a synthetic brush when I've um, got a bit more used to what I'm doing. So what I've done is on this set so far, I've used um, the dehydrator and this monomer um, is HEMA free, but it's also primerless. So you don't need a primer with this. Um, if you do use primer, apparently it stops it working as well and you can get lifting. Um, so um, yeah, I'm not going in with a primer. I'm going in with, um, I've already put my tips on and I'm going in with um, a clear base. Now the first nail that I do, the pinky finger I'm showing you that completely in real time just to show you how long it took me I hope that this can help some other beginners because um, I've got qualifications in gel but nothing in acrylic I am actually going to college um, to night school um, soon that starts in September so I am going to get my um, acrylic qualification as well as like manicure and pedicure as well so that I will be able to work in a salon if I ever want to do that in the future um, so anyway, yeah, the brush that I'm using um, is one from Glitter Planet um, and this was supposed to be a size 8 and it is on their site and it's even printed on the brush but it looked massive to me um, and because I've not got any acrylic brushes apart from a Model 1's um, brush I just thought, well, maybe that's just what the size is um, but I actually um, ended up ruining this brush just a rookie mistake really I got acrylic stuck in it and I couldn't get it out um, I tried to use acetone to get it out, which worked, um, but then it happened again um, because I wasn't cleaning my brush properly in between um, putting the acrylic on. As I said, I'm still learning, um, and so I ended up ruining this brush. But then I bought another brush from CJP, and that was a size 8 as well, and it is like a third of the size of this brush, so I don't know what it is with the Glitter Planet, Planet brushes, whether this one uh, was mistakenly sent to me and it wasn't actually an eight i'm not sure maybe their sizes are different but the one that i've got now is so much better and it's so much smaller i mean yeah when i get a bit more confident maybe a brush this size would be good but um for now i'm sticking with a smaller one um so yeah i did actually make the clear base a little bit too thick in areas so when i put my color coat on i did end up um sort of filing through my capping um, I'm filing some of the colour off um, but as with this was my first go I wasn't too I wasn't too bothered about that I did love the end result anyway um, so yeah I'm putting a clear base on all of these nails and then I'm going to go in with the colour and the colour that I'm using um, is a thermo one so it changes colour you'll have seen it on the pictures at the beginning of the video um, so yeah I thought well, I'll use that one because I can just do a full colour of that a full coat of that on all of the nails and then um, you know, I'm not going to worry about ombre and, and different colours and things like that while this is my first try. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get the acrylic onto the nails without them looking too messy at the moment. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, for a first go, I thought this was really quite quite good. Um, and like I say, with the big, the big brush wasn't really helping, but I've learned from that now. And I've also learned to clean my brush properly before... Uh, you know, in between um, adding the acrylic and things like that because I'm used to gel and it doesn't dry. So it was really strange using the acrylic and it was sort of drying on the brush and things like that because I hadn't wiped it enough and I hadn't dipped it back in the monomer. Um, and also I was struggling a little bit with the smell. Um, I had all the windows open and I had a fan going and everything like that. Um, but the smell was um, 
was getting to me a little bit so yeah what um i ended up doing was i bought um a mender pump and i used to have that years ago when i used to do acrylic and it only lets a little bit of the liquid into the the top of the pump at once and i thought that would be a problem at first which is why i got this little dappen dish that you can see there um but i think the liquid just being in the dish just made it so much smellier and then so i, I tried with the pump and it was a lot better and I was worried about getting bubbles in the acrylic because I wasn't sort of, you know, you press the brush down in the liquid to burp it to get all the bubbles out. I thought, well, I can't do that with the pump. So is it going to put bubbles in? But I didn't see many, to be honest. So I think it's working so far. But I will update you on that because um, you're going to be seeing a lot of my um, sort of learning videos in the future. So yeah, I'm probably going to look back at this video one day and think, oh, what are you doing? That's terrible. But, you know, I wanted it here to help other people who are learning as well so they can see um, exactly what I'm doing. So back to this set and I'm trying to push up the acrylic as gently as possible up to that cuticle without flooding it. And I think I did an OK job. I only had to wipe it off the skin a couple of times. Um, but with me going so slowly, um, it was sort of setting on me a bit quicker than I wanted. Um, and I have found that using the smaller brush is a lot better for me. And I didn't have to keep going in with lots of beads and things like that. But yeah, I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this, me capping them as well. Um, and then, I'll, yeah, and I'll put some music on so you don't have to listen to me waffling through the, the entire video. Um, and then I'll come back a bit later on in the video to update you with what's going on now.
Okay, so I've finished that one hand now. I filed and buffed it and I'm actually quite happy with the shaping and everything. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm not that impressed because I have filed some of the colour off on the edges and, and the side of the nails and things like that. But that's just because my um, base coat was a little bit too thick. Um, but I did want to leave that base coat there so that I had something to file back down to when I want to change the colour. Um, so I'm just going in now with um, the CJP top coat. This is the um time to shine top coat it's called it's absolutely gorgeous it is um sort of a thick consistency but it's also um it's quite even though it's thick it's really runny as well so you do need to make sure that it doesn't run into the side walls before you cure it so make sure that you've if you use this you've not got a lot on your brush at once um yeah because i did have to I have to wipe it off the side walls a couple of times so this just sets it off this um this top coat it's absolutely amazing it is gorgeous it really shows off that shine so i'm so pleased that i'm actually finally able to use acrylic again i can't believe it um so obviously i've got a lot to learn uh, and i hope that you can um, follow along with my learning journey uh, and i'll get to do um, some nail designs that are a bit more exciting than this but yeah i've got a lot of practicing to to do um but yeah i was so impressed with this uh, i can't believe it i'm really really happy with it it's actually been on now i'm trying to think now how long it's been on about a week and a half and i haven't had a break i haven't had a chip i haven't had anything nothing come off i have filed them down a little bit because they were growing out and they were a bit too long um so here they are together I've tried this in a couple of different lightings just to try and show you exactly what they look like. Um, so you can see the, where the tips are. It's a darker purple and then higher up it's pink. So it does give that ombre effect without actually having to ombre the acrylics, which was great for me. So it's been really warm the last few days. So the nails have been completely pink uh, for a few days. Um, but I love just putting them in the cold water just to see them change and they do change quite quickly these these acrylics um, So like I said, these are from CJP and they do do a lot of other thermal colors I don't I think this is the only glitter one that there was um, But yeah, they do do a few different colored acrylics So I'm in love with the shaping on this thumb. I was really happy with that. I think that was my favorite nail and yet again for some reason uh, my right hand turned out a lot better than my left hand which is weird considering that my right hand I had to do with my left hand and it took me absolutely ages so that's why I didn't film both hands because <laughs> it took a long time uh, but yeah I'm really happy with the way they turned out I hope you like these I hope you like this video um, I'm not just going to be abandoning the gel I am going to be doing gel nails as well um, I think I'll probably do that more on the practice hand um, and I am looking into getting a new practice hand as well because I absolutely love my Glamalys Elsa practice hand, but I have damaged it quite a lot with doing loads of filing on it and stuff. But that is what it's for. It's a practice hand. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna get a different one um, and see how I go with that. Um, so I'll be ordering that in the next few weeks. Um, so it'll be a while till that comes. But yeah, um, I hope you like this video. Thank you to my new subscribers and everyone else who watches my videos. Thank you for supporting me so much. Um, I do love you all and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.